you can do it. <laughs> the colors are good. I really want a purple sticker off my logo. Ooh, and she looks nice. Thank you. 
San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get the service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. So today is the day of the market. So I'll just catch up now. Um, I was supposed to do it last night when I was still creating, getting everything ready, but um, I got to bed at like 10.30 and I really wanted to get to bed earlier, so I had to scratch that. Essentially I've been like just creating, making sure that everything is ready. I finished my stock list, got a clipboard for it so that it's much easier to write on. I made me and my partner lunch, packed my bag, so I've got my snacks, uh, sunblock, drink bottle, you know, just little necessities that you may need throughout the day. And yeah, this is my outfit. I think it's super cute. <laughs> my table looks a lot fresher and a lot brighter since last year, so I'm really like wanting to keep within the sort of aesthetic. <laughs> it also looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. We were a little bit worried for a second there. We thought maybe it might end up raining, but it looks good. I'm excited. <laughs> For the beginning of September I was greeted to a beautiful day of sunny weather and we were absolutely full house packed out at the market which was wonderful as well. Honestly the weather was absolutely stunning, such a good turnout of people that day. The setup went perfectly fine as well, always give yourself plenty of time to set up if you haven't done it before because sometimes things still go wrong and you have to be ready to make changes so that you can still have a nice good happy successful day at the market. So down underneath my table I have a Yu-Gi-Oh box for some reason, that's where I keep other little extra things. I've got my thank you cards, I've got some extra freebie stickers, I've got my business cards, then we've got bags, some more stickers for like packaging purposes, and then I've got my clipboard which is a pen and my stock pricing list. Again this is super helpful, 
I would much prefer it electronically, but for now I'm doing it all by paper just so I don't have to carry my iPad with me. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi. Good, thank you. That's okay. Yeah, no thank worries. You. All good. That's the first one I've been asked for, like cards. It's a good thought. It is a good thought. Hi. Hello, how are you? You're all good. <laughs> yeah, quick look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're starting to pack up now, so it's yeah. nearly it's two o'clock, I think. Now, yeah, it's yeah. turn two. Right, so the first market went really, really well. I decided to go and get myself some more yarn today. I've My stash has been looking pretty bleak as of recent. And I got a bunch of new colors that I've been wanting to try, but obviously haven't gotten around to grabbing them before. They finally had a tan color in stock. They've actually kind of been out of this for a little while. And then, you know, naturally I got my fan, fan favorites, so to speak, my repeats that I consist consistently keep using. Since it is spring now, um, I have to start planning for more sun hat sort of weather. <laughs> so instead of making beanies, I'm going to switch it up and now change it to hats, sun hats and bucket hats. At the moment, I'm focusing on festival sort of stuff. So um, Halloween is coming up so I have that sort of festive theme going on with my pumpkins and my ghosts. So I'm going to continue with that and then I have to try and think maybe of something festive around Christmas. I've also got a little tray here of like some things that I've started, some more projects. These are also supposed to be uh, pink cherries and this is the beginning of what's going to be another flower hat. The uh, clipboard was an amazing little uh, choice that I made. Uh, super helpful. I also love that I have a much bigger table. I can actually fit like so much more stuff on there. I know this is going to be an important moment here where I should probably talk about whether or not I consider this to be worth it. For me it feels like it's worth it. I'm getting really good exposure. I was not expecting to get an online order that same day and a very generous one at that. I'm extremely thankful <laughs> um, and they were so sweet. They were such a sweet customer but I know that there are people out there that are thinking you know is this worth my time and my effort and my money uh, 
for me I feel like it's worth it because I already really enjoy crocheting like every time I make something it doesn't feel like a chore anytime it does feel like a chore I stop making that thing it's quite a nice way to like get out of the house meet new people and meet old friends and family that you haven't seen in ages and catch up you know it's just a really nice social event where you can talk about your hobby that you love <laughs> and make a little bit of extra cash right so it really depends also on your mindset like if you've done marketing and you're disappointed in your sales or you were kind of hoping that you could make this more of a full-time sort of thing then then that's the difference between like you and me because <laughs> uh i don't see myself doing it full-time like i would love to but i also don't see that as like what my my ultimate goal is for me i i enjoy just doing it <laughs> when I say that it's a hobby it really it really is um I'm not sitting there watching how much time is passing as I'm crocheting and I'm taking breaks in between I'm crocheting so I might do one row and then I might watch something or I might look at my phone or I might go and get a drink or I might go make a tea I might go to the loo like there are so many things that happen it's just something that I'll pick up and do a little bit of and then I'll get distracted and do something else so when people ask how long does it take I really have no idea <laughs> so pricing my products by time is tough <laughs> just thought I'd talk about some of the stuff that I've learnt and what has helped me and what has made it worth it for me um, and why I'm gonna continue if you guys have any other questions that you'd like to ask me about markets especially here in New Zealand as well here in the south please do ask <laughs> I would love to see some conversations about markets within um, other countries and what their experiences are because oftentimes when I go to look on YouTube about market events it's usually in the UK or it's in America now I learn a lot from those videos but the fact that it's in a completely different country um, makes it harder for me to understand certain aspects because things are different where I live naturally as an example I still haven't been able to settle um, card payments which is really sad for a lot of people because they come along and they want to buy something and I have to turn them away um, I do want to offer bank transfer because obviously people do want to buy but I also want it to be you know a seamless streamlined process and I would love to do card payments but again here in New Zealand we don't have square we don't have zettle I would have to order or rent an FPOS machine or an impost machine uh, as far as I know there's nothing else that has popped up so yeah any other questions feel free to ask away in the comments <laughs> like this would probably be like my, my fifth or sixth market now so I'm still quite fresh to it and you know I upgraded my table I upgraded a couple of things so I'm still fairly new but I hope that from watching like my experience that you can like learn from it and find inspiration and find the courage to be able to do markets on your own or find the information that you need to know if markets are the right choice for you as well anyway I'm probably going to find uh, new homes for all of these schemes because I've got uh, I've got a few of them how much do I have I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven schemes <laughs> so my uh my yarn cubby is going to be looking very full <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.